Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back here on Welker Farms, and we are at Field 22 here. Um, so, here's the story. I did the mission on the missions that we could do on 24, 7, and 8. Um, and I did one mission on 22. Uh, did all those, and we're already at full brownie points with Mr. Turner. Uh, so, here's the plan. Uh, we can't plant anything yet. Um, we can fertilize, we can plow, and we can fertilize again, maybe? No. And then cultivate. I think that's all we can do. Uh, let me double check. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I've been here. Uh, yes, we can cultivate. That's what we can do. We fertilize, we plow, and we cultivate. Um, and I actually need to get that guy going again back down here. I forgot to hire him back out. Um, so I need to plow, yes, I need to plow 22 and cultivate it. Uh, basically, that's all we can do. And now that we're at full brownie points, I would like to remove the plow states off of these fields before I buy them, uh, since we can do that now, since it's a whole lot easier to do now. Um, I want to do that, and this computer is roaring. I don't know why it's roaring. But it sounds terrible. I don't have a fan going out already. That would not be good. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and work this mission here. It doesn't take long. Uh, let's get the plow that we want, though. The pink one, the pink one, the pink one. Come on. Give me the pink one. Give me the pink one. Is it not going to give me the pink one? No, don't buy the field. Don't buy the field. I don't think it's going to give me the pink one, guys. I think we're going to have to do it with that red one. Not that one. Oh, there it is. Nope, there it is. Never mind. All right, let's do this. All right. I never thought I'd say, give me the pink plow. Give me the pink plow. That's what we got. All right, let's get this rolling here. Unfold. Kinda lined up somewhat. Now I could do GPS here. This is a smaller field though. So I think I'm just gonna run this. Put it on cruise and run with it. If I do GPS, what does that look like? Oh I'd have to I'd have to adjust the width on it. But this is a small field, so I think I'm not gonna do it. I'm just going to do it manually. And uh, the bigger fields, like, uh, you know, the big fields, like, you know, three, four, five, six, all that. Anything like that and bigger, I'll probably run GPS on missions. I don't think it's cheating, um, because it's, you know, not. Real tractors in real life have GPS. The, uh,. Tractor, this tractor particularly itself has the little module on top. You can see it there. It's a little white uh, thing there. I think that's the GPS module. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to start going in a clockwise rotation around this field. So, basically, we're removing the plow state off of it for this mission. And uh, we should be able to get the job done fairly quickly. With this plow. Should not take long at all. And I should have hired my guy back out before I did this, but we'll get to that in a minute. So this gives us, what, 15 minutes to do this? I think we've already been into this, maybe. Um, so it shouldn't take, but maybe 8, 7 to 8, something like that. I could see us combining some of these fields, but then uh, again, maybe not. Because that looks like a rock down there. Like a rock. It's an old Chevy commercial. Like a rock. I know, stick to my day job. I know, I'm sorry. But yep, that's a rock. It's the only downside to this map. They put some rocks in here. Well, I'll say it's the only downside kinda goes in the same category. You can't plow out the grass. I 
hate that. I would remove the rocks and I would make the grass texture plowable. That way if you wanted to get insane and plow the fields together, you could. Because technically, I mean if you really wanted to, you could plow all of this together. You really could. Um, I would leave some roads uh, like to the straw barn and to the grain elevator and stuff like that. But even those, you technically could plow the roads under and combine all these fields. Uh, and maybe that's why they did that. Maybe that's why they put the rocks in. Maybe that's why they made the grass texture not plowable is so that you could not plow them together. But I mean, come on. These like this right here, I would so plow these together. They're just asking to plow together on this side. Kind of reminds me of an enlarged version of the east uh, side of the map of Sosnovka. Just a little bit without the little uh, boot at the bottom. It's just a little bit wider. Just a little bit. Alright, so uh, let's see. We got any Farming Simulator 19 news? Uh, they did confirm that they are bringing the tracked Fint tractor. I'm trying to remember the model number. I think it's 1100, but don't quote me on that. You know what? I could probably pull it up on my phone here. Give me just a un momento. Let me text and drive here. I'm not supposed to do this, but don't ever do this at home. Uh, let's see. Yes, it is the Fent 1100 MT. It is a tracked Fent tractor. To me, since you know it's Agco, you know, and all that, it looks like a Challenger, like a uh, like a Challenger with a Fent paint job. And really, that's what a lot of the stuff is. Um, But this definitely looks like a. It looks exactly like a Challenger Challenger with a fin paint job. So, matter of fact, I think it's the exact same tractor. So the Challenger uh, tracked ones, like we have on 17 here, that's what this looks like. Just give it a fin paint job, and there you go. So if you like the fin brand, which you know I think it's more popular in Europe, um, fin and Valtra and Kloss and all that. You don't see a lot of those here in America. Um, mainly here in America you see uh, probably number one John Deere which of course you know as we all know is coming to Farming Simulator 19 so looking forward to that. Um, probably John Deere I would say John Deere number one is probably the one you see the most. Uh, the next one would probably be Case uh, and then probably New Holland. Although New Holland is really picking up steam. I'm starting to see a lot more New Holland equipment around here. Saw a uh, New Holland CR990, I think it was, uh, harvester. So one of the local farmers has got one. Uh, starting to see a lot of the tractors. Uh, T, the model numbers are a little bit different on them, I think. Um, something around the, the area of like a T8, maybe, or a T, uh, so you see more of the utility New Hollands, like a T5 or a T4, somewhere in that range there. But I am seeing a lot more of them, so it's picking up steam. It might be thanks to Farming Simulator, you know. Uh, it's been out for a while. I hate to say that, but you know. Cause these farmers, you know, they, they farm all the time. They do this in real life. They don't want to play this Farming Simulator. But some do. Some actually do. So. Some farm and then they come on here and farm. I guess it's kind of like, um, like Flight Simulator. A lot of pilots, real life pilots, commercial pilots, they uh, they play farming, uh, not farming, they play flight, flight simulator, that's it. Um, so I guess, uh, as, you know, if you enjoy what you do, 
then you could uh, play the game. That's what makes Farming Simulator so great. Anybody can play it. Whether you're a professional farmer and you want to get into the really deep stuff, like, uh, you know, uh, course play, GPS, stuff like that, um, and the uh, extra little equipment for PC. Uh, or if you're just, you know, brand new, you've never really delved into the world of farming, that was, that's, that's what makes Farming Simulator great, is that anybody can do it. And then you can learn. The more you, the more you do, the more you learn. And there's so much to do that um, that, that it just never ends. It never ends. There's always new maps. There's always new equipment. Uh, there's always new mods that people make. And you know, people make mods in real life if you think about it with farm equipment. I mean, you think about all the uh, all the farmers and stuff that know how to weld, and then they make these new uh, contraptions by welding stuff together and so yeah modding is really technically real in real life so whoever uh, modded the Brooks chipper let's make that a thing <laughs> I, you know I think it would be possible I think it, I do I think it would be uh, might require some uh, additional engineering but uh, I think it's very possible to make that thing a real thing I mean, you think about it as chewing up the uh, the uh, stumps and the trees and stuff for wood chips. Then all you got to do is put something on there to make it to throw it back in a trailer. All right, so we got that done. Um, is there another mission? I think there is. Yes, we need a cultivate mission. I want the big one though. Will it give me the big one? I bet if I click on it enough, it will. There it is. That's what we want. And I didn't get my guy going. This shouldn't take long. I'll get him going when we get done at the end of this episode. Now we can't plant just yet. We actually cannot plant for a while. Uh, really anything really six days so I can see doing a lot of fast timing once we get all the cultivating and stuff done here so I will probably probably that is a one word to say probably probably you know what I'm not cultivating <laughs> so let me just start at this end of the field down here I just realized I'm not I said boy I'm going fast I do too on well no I don't. Why is it telling me that? Can I not do a cultivating mission? Is this not the field? There we go. Well that's weird. I, this is the field. Come on now. See if I can get over. The trigger on this one is really sensitive. Hmm. Some of the uh, field triggers are really uh, sensitive on here. All right. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is buy the small fields first and work my way up. With the exception, maybe if I have money left over, of field three. I really would like to have field three. It's right across from the farm. That way, it would surround our homestead. The only thing about three is it has the power poles out in the middle, but I mean, we've had power poles in fields before, so I guess we could just work around them like we always do. I lost a lot of time back there. Well, not a lot, just a, just a couple minutes, but a couple minutes could save the world, so. I 
and now the computer is not. It's weird because it'll rev up and then it'll rev down. I guess that's normal. I just I'm gonna have to redo the studio here, and I keep saying I'm gonna do it. I just need to take a weekend and do it. I don't think it would take all weekend, but I need to take uh, just like a Saturday or a Sunday and redo everything in here. I moved stuff around once and it didn't work, so I kind of moved it back. But I think I have another idea in mind that would put all of the, like the console when I do that, the PC and all that back behind the desk here. Because it's got like a shelf thing on it. And I've got a backing that I'm going to put on it. And it'll block that sound, I think. Uh, make it not as loud. You guys probably can't hear it. At least I hope you can't, because it's it's kind of annoying. I can hear it. It's very, um, very, uh, what's the right word? Sounds like a table saw, maybe? I don't know. It's the fans running. I'm sure it's supposed to be, you know, that loud, but you wouldn't think a new PC would be that loud. But it is. The fans, I guess, with the fans running and everything got to keep it cool of course I am you know I do have this on the you know the highest graphic settings I do have it on you know what do you call the the range there the loading distance that's as big as it would go so I could expect the PC to be uh, working hard but I will say this PC is adequate for this it uh, is adequate for 19. I made sure of that. Um, so no worries. I mean, I'm not having any lag. I, I can do the little, the little spin test. Here's the spin test. No lag whatsoever, and it is still rolling. I don't see any lag. Over on console, I'd do that test, and it'd just be lagging all over the place. Just bit, 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 bit. done. I'm excited for fall. Fall's coming up soon. Um, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for, you know, football. Yeah, not the NFL. I'm ready for college football and the uh, local football. Ready for that. <clears throat> ready for uh, cooler weather, that's for sure. Ready for harvest time. Um, Cooler weather probably is number one. Um, I'm ready for the foods, man. Yeah, the food. There's always good food in the fall. Especially at like our local grocery stores and stuff. Oh, man. They got like pumpkin everything. Of course, you know, I'm not a huge pumpkin fan, but you give me some uh, pumpkin pies or some pumpkin rolls or some pumpkin bread or some pumpkin cake or some pumpkin, you know, uh, whatever, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm game, I'm there. I'll tell you, my favorite's probably the pumpkin roll, though. What that is, is it's, it's like pumpkin cake, but it's like in a, it's like a giant Swiss roll. And they put cream cheese inside it, and they roll it up. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Looking forward to it. And then, you know, you got your... Apple stuff too, uh, apple pies and apple dumplings and apple cider and stuff like that. My stomach's starting to growl. Oh yeah, I'm getting hungry. I shouldn't talk about food. It always happens. I haven't had breakfast yet, so very early in the morning. I was going to record last night, but uh, man, it started storming like fiercely last night. Them lightning bolts were coming down close, so uh, I was like, nope, unplug the... Uh, Unplug the computers. Not happening tonight, so. Thing still misses. I guess it's because of, because of the uh, the bumps and maybe the size of this thing. I don't know. Maybe we'll save this uh, cultivator for. Um, 
A big field might be. here and make that thing take over. Come on, stay done. I bet it's all these things that it missed. Maybe that's why. I bet that's it. I hope, it, I hope it'll click over. Because it does miss a lot out here. See, that's why I haven't bought this thing yet. It misses a lot. There's a lot of bumps and stuff that you wouldn't think it would miss here at Welker's. Alright, we got it done. So, there's no more missions available for this. We can't plant yet. We can't really plant anything. Not for another six days. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going around the map and uh, cultivating and, well, first, uh, I guess, spreading the manure, uh, the liquid manure, and then plowing and then cultivating. So I'll definitely get the plow state removed on... I may just do the fields that I know I'm going to buy. Like some of these smaller ones around the edge. Uh, i got to be honest, I'm probably going to buy those. Field 3. How much is field 3? Let me teleport here to be quicker. Well, that's field 21. Here's field 3. It's out in the middle here. Alright, field uh, 3 is 1.4 million so and it's got a fur mission on it so I'll tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and do field three because I know I want to buy it I know I do I, I know I want it it's a nice huge field um, I won't say it's a nice size field because it's a ginormous field but see it does have the poles out in the middle of it so I'll have to work around those but it's right across from the farm see here's the farm right over here I mean it's just a stone's throw away so I know I'm going to buy Field 3. I'm going to go ahead and do the missions on it. Uh, maybe in the next episode. So we might do that next episode. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and get my other deal going here again. Where's it at? There it is. The other big bud. We finally bought the 747. So I'm going to get this uh, plow back to plowing here. Alright guys. We'll come back and uh, I guess we'll work that field. Until next time. Remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We will see you guys later.